Okay, the control statement we will talk about is the switch case. Switch case, okay. We'll take a program, simple program that I wrote. Oh, one second. I need to compile it, my program. All right. It says enter the month in numbers 1 to 12. All right. So if I give a 3, it just accepts the 3 and uh, quits the progr uh, our program. If I run it again, let's say this time I'm going to give say 14. It says no such month. Enter the month in numbers 1 to 12. If I give uh, say minus 9, it says no such month. Enter a month in numbers. So it's keep asking until you enter let's say 1, then it exits. So this is a simple program we are going to write using switch. The, the way to write is, I'll, I'm going to take that main. We need to include always the system include at h. Okay, integer month equal to minus 1, integer number of days equal, let's say, just 0. What we have to do is switch, because a print, enter a, num a month in number, 1 to 12 and scan of right scan of what do you do scan of uh, percent d and put that in the month and percent all right and now i'm going to end show you how to use the switch It's very simple here, case 0, uh, number of days equal 31, oh, I said 1, right, so 1. So in case ENS1, we'll, ask, we'll initialize this variable to 31, all right? 1 means Jan, right? And the number of days we initialize to 0 and the number of month we initialize to minus 1. And, uh, okay, case 2. Number of days equal 28. Break, right? So what we have done is we are elaborating each and every month and we are assigning the number of days accordingly all right so we have to continue doing that case case 3 which is March so I'm going to put that again 31 4 is what zero right phi is our may june is phi right oh june is six july is thirty one right August is 31, so it goes on. Uh, I'm going to, I'm doing a little faster actually. Oops. What's this? Uh, 9.
9 is what? Uh, 9 is September, right? So 30. 10 is October. Eleven is thirtieth, which is November. So we got everything done. Number twelve is thirty-one. So we are done. And uh, so this is how the switch case works. All right. The switch case, if you see it, it starts with the way you define is switch and the variable that you want to. Uh, use this is usually an expression okay it could be even an expression I put month in case you want to add two months for example a number to that that is valid too this is an expression and uh, the case one case two case three case four this values has to be constant okay and uh, they have to be either uh, mainly constant it cannot be a variable like for instance it cannot be a variable x it cannot be a variable y like that it you have to elaborate each and every values all right and uh, then for each case you have to put the the statements that you have to execute for case 1 i said 31 and when you are done for that statement, all the statement executing for that case, you have to put a break. This is very, very important. All right. And a uh, lot of people miss putting that uh, break. It's okay. All right. So that switch the variable name or expression whatever that is you want to take it's followed by a brace these two braces are very important then the case followed by colon this is also very important all right it's not a semicolon remember that And any number of statements that you have to put, you can put in here, but in the end, you have to put a break. This break says this case that we have, for instance, one, if this variable value, if the value of this variable is one, then execute this each and every statement for me. And when you're done, you leave the switch case that's what it means break means get out of my when you are done finding a case for me you leave after executing each and every statement and you have to make sure this value that you have which is called a constant value is never duplicated in here okay so it's always a unique value this should be a unique value remember that unique and let's go back to the program here so and then we we elaborated each and every case and I've initialized the number of days to 31, February 28, like that, I, each and every case. But what if the user enters, enters 14 or 30 or 50? So for cases outside of your requirement in our in our case our requirement is 1 to 12 all right our requirement is 1 to 12 if it 
if the user enters any value that's beyond this range outside this range you can have something called a default and do the programming accordingly then it is identical to what it the rest is it executes the statements you have the uh, colon and a break All right so in our case in the program that we wrote it goes on okay All right i will put set default default colon right like we talked the statements we can say print of not a valid month not a valid month right followed by the break right so the algorithm we have right now if i show it to here and uh, take a snapshot or print screen of this i'm going to clear it so the user enters a value enters a value we use switch the value case break all that okay everything we did then you close the switch this brace matches that guy okay and of course these are important okay and then but if this guy and we have also as the default right in case if we enter 13 we have to go back and ask him again right so where do we put that loop we could use a while loop right so while loop should be outside while a condition we don't know what the condition is right so we'll write this while condition right now while i'll write the condition in a minute oops here the condition is what my month while my month is less than 1 or my month is greater than 12 as long as e and outside my range i will keep bugging him right as long as he enters a value outside my range my range is this is 12 this is 1 as long as he enters a value here or here i'll keep asking him the same question again and again and again right so we'll go back to the program so we got that so we have the while loop we have the switch case that one of the main reason why i initialized my month to minus 1 my number of days to 0 is because of while loop okay 
in fact I could even make it zero that means there is no such month as long as this while condition is true keep running the program so now if I go back and compile fifty three error expected declaration statement oh we don't have a main brace okay we compiled right one of the reasons it complained is because I didn't have this brace so once I put that, it uh, stopped complaining. Now I'll run the program, just like the way we wrote before. Okay, enter, enter a month in number one to twelve. So I'm going to put fourteen. It says not a valid month. So this statement executed in the default section. All right, this is not a valid month executed here, here, not a valid month because this is the outside range, this is the default we programmed, right? So you enter 13, which came here, it didn't match any of the cases we had. It came to the default section. I'm going to enter minus 3 again the same thing now I'm going to enter say 10 then it went it's happy